The day has finally come where we're going to pick up our caravan. Pretty nervous to tow it back. We're picking it up from about an hour away. A place called Dandenong, for you that know where that is. It's been a long four months, I think it's been, since we ordered it. It's been nine months since we decided to pack up and head around Australia. It felt like it take, took its time, but it felt like it came quick, if that makes sense. It's, yeah, it's finally here. So once we get a little bit closer to Dandenong, I'll um, chuck the camera back on and show you what we're picking up. See you there. A little bit of a setback. I've put the wrong address in the maps and it's taken us to a place that's half an, away, half an hour away from the actual place that we're meant to go to. And I just want to show you quickly how windy it actually is today, which is making me real nervous. I don't know if you can see all the trees and shit. But yeah. We'll be right. Just go slow. Like I said before, it's my first time ever towing a caravan and mate she's picked a day for it we finally got to the place to pick up the caravan motions are going wild i'm nervous i'm excited can't wait it's absolutely freezing today blowing a gale yeah so it's going to be a good first time trying um towing the caravan I'll show you guys when we get in this is a new addition to our family our fantasy caravan FB15A. Have a look inside. Got our kitchen here. Sink. There's another kitchen outside. Another table, which I didn't think we were going to get. Pretty happy with that. Our chairs, tables, shower, toilet. Yeah, I love it. Can't wait to hit the road with it. All right, so we made it back from Dandenong with the caravan. I'll give you a little look on the outside. So that's the pullout for our bed. Got an external shower out here. Just if we come back from the beach, got a bit of sand or something on us. Give our little, give ourselves a little rinse with that. Our two water tanks, I'm guessing that's to refill water tank, I don't know. Um, so I've got all the storage here, that's my gas, I think, uh, no, toilet. Storage, storage, gas bottles go in there, I've got two uh, spots for gas bottles, two jerry cans, firewood up here, um, my slide out barbecue goes in there. This is my slide out fridge, just more storage up here. I'll eventually open everything up and show you all around properly. This is a little quick tour, just while well, I've got a chance, a little little table. More storage, more storage, and our slide out kitchen, external kitchen here. That's pretty much it. So we've got a full off road one. It's got the ind independent suspensions and all that kind of stuff. Two spare wheels. Yeah, that's a little house on wheels for the next year. I can't wait. Still feels unreal that it's actually here. And we're like 15 days or 20 days or whatever it is from actually leaving. So me and Kayla just started packing, uh, loading up the caravan, just getting bits and pieces into it. Yeah, we've just been buying bits and pieces since we picked up the caravan on Friday and we thought since it was a nice day today we'll pull it up, pop it open and start loading it up with things we need in it. Um, there's just so much storage we don't know where to put anything, um, like where, which way we should set out the caravan. Um, so we just started chucking shit in and if, if it doesn't work we'll just move it along the way. I'll show you a bit more of the caravan so we're thinking here's going to be all our clothes and stuff like that we're going to try to fit a coffee machine on here and maybe a microwave these are just all my panels for the power and stuff like that bathroom and shower so we've got these this little thing so the toilet paper doesn't get wet we've got, i'm going to put all the towels and stuff like that in there 
one for our shampoo toilet now I didn't ideally want one with a toilet and shower in the same room but you know if you were to get it separate that adds like another 20 grand to the price of the caravan and I think I'll just suffer with the toilet in the same room king bed just put a sheet on it a little TV here cooktops yeah so that's our, gonna be our home for the next year so we got nine days until we hit the road and leave this house behind up for rent it's been a crazy I'd say week and a half trying to get this house packed up just trying to sell stuff and oh, it's been it's been nuts but we're getting there slowly we just got the big stuff we just got that TV fridge to move out got a tool bench we started packing the van which was quite exciting seeing where everything's gonna go and just picture how how it's gonna work on the road uh, one thing I am stressing about is the dogs that's one thing I'm really stressing about just keeping them safe um, yeah just that's pretty much the only thing I'm really stressing about towing the van I'll get used to unless I hit some tight streets then I think a bit of panic will kick in but uh, I'm excited and just seeing how it's gonna go for the next year we finally got renters for the house as well which uh, they move in on the 29th today is what's the date today the 19th so they move in in 10 days, we move out on the 28th. Uh, we hit our first destination to Ballarat, which is gonna be with my family. Just the last trip to you know spend with them and then we go our own way, they head home. And yeah, we haven't planned much. There's just been so much stuff going on where I haven't even thought about where I wanna go and where Kayla wants to go and where what we wanna see. We do know that we're staying in Victoria till the end of probably January or mid-January we're going to start heading into state going to Sydney going to Queensland there's one thing I've noticed about this trip is, is there's so much things to plan like insurances and you know like what you're going to need on the road and the weight of the van the weight in the car and weighing everything and are you going to have enough weight to actually be under the weight limit and yeah, so there's a lot to think of and to add the planning of the year into that will just be just too much. We're a day out from leaving the house. Oh, has it been tough? It's been a challenge. There's still shit everywhere in the house and so much more shit to do. I've got my car getting the lift kit today getting that sorted, get that car back tomorrow. Then Thursday morning before we leave, I've got to take it to a tire joint, try to get some tires put on it. Um, tomorrow we've just still got more emptying, got to empty the house and get this TV off the wall and take that to my grandfather's and empty all this out. There's so much more to go. Like we've been sleeping on a air mattress for the last two nights. Oh, so last five, six nights, and they are shit. They keep going down. The lot we've gone through two mattresses already. Cat put a hole in one. The first one, Kayla woke up on the floor. This one's just not much better. My back, my body's aching. I feel like I'm getting sick. I feel like my nose is blocked, I'm coughing, but no time to get sick. Show must go on. Gotta keep pushing and getting this house empty. Just doing my head in. We take off Thursday, it is Tuesday today. Tomorrow I've got my auntie and my mum coming over to help clean the house. Got a steam cleaner to come clean the carpets on Thursday. It's all happening. Show you my car once I get that back. Show you the lift care, show you everything I've done to the car. Um, to get it ready. I still haven't even given you guys a proper tour of the van yet. Um, it's just been 
so crazy. So I've got the AFN bull bar fitted with the steady, uh, steady lights. The reason I went with AFM because obviously I like the design and I was going to go like a Rhino bar but the reason I went with this is just for a bit more protection when I'm in the outback for roos and stuff like that so you know nothing here can get really damaged I mean it can but not to the point where it's not drivable um, so that's the reason I went with AFN um, I've got the Kumo tires the GME uh, UHF uh, the 2 inch tough dog lift canopy and also the solar panel to get my secondary battery all my electric brakes and you know trailer plugs all that kind of stuff it's fitted um, one thing I do recommend as well it helps tow in the caravan is the um, throttle control that really helps when I'm when I'm towing, um, I feel like it gives my car a little bit more power on takeoff where there's no lag. Um, yeah, I was gonna get a snorkel fitted. Thought I'll get the things that are more important at the moment because I'm not gonna really do much river crossings at the moment. Um, so I just thought, you know what? What's the point of really getting a snorkel yet? I will get one eventually. Oh, and I've also got the uh, the Dominator winch. All in there. And also, just let me pop the bonnet. And this, this is a fuel filter. So I can pretty much fill up at any servo and this will get out any other water or any other stuff that can cause damage to my motor. Um, behind there is where I drain all the water from. But yeah. That's my car so far. All right, we're finally done. House is empty. We're ready to go. Car's done, suspension's in, tires are done. House is empty, there's nothing left. TV's gone, we've just got our bits and pieces that we're taking with us. And it also is a bit emotional because we have to say goodbye to our cat. We're getting him back after a year, but you know, we're gonna see the little guy for another year, so that's pretty sad, but there's some big things that are happening ahead. Be strong. Be strong.